Oh, I could perform it a cappella. I don't know if you'd quite call it singing, but I'll, I'll do my best. And like Thule says in the tradition of uh, Joe Hill and of Thule Kuferberg, the, uh, the Paris song is taking a uh, popular song, a popular melody, and writing... Uh, and I titled it for you, or I suggested the title, uh, This is the Hot Song. Which I had heard a, uh, I believe it was a Republican senator from uh, Oklahoma said something like, uh, global warming is the biggest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. So uh, this is uh, somewhat of a response to that. Way back when in 1910, the snow fell deep and wide. From the Throgs Neck Bridge down to Bay Ridge and over the Lower East Side. Grandparents in tenements, the winter froze and how. But it was somewhat colder then, it's warmer than that now. In 22, the cold wind blew when January came. To hear them say it, January today is May by another name. You'd freeze your ass till winter'd pass, each day for weeks they'd plow. But it was somewhat colder then, it's warmer than that now. In 45, you couldn't drive and march through the Borscht Belt. If they saw today, I'm sure they'd say it's a labor de Havelt. We have it easy, it's warm and breezy, but it seems wrong somehow that it was somewhat colder then and it's warmer than that now. Every man with a spray can will tell you that it's cool. The ozone ain't hurt by my paint squirt and this hairspray is minuscule. But add them up and then look up the ozone saying ow. And it was somewhat colder then, it's warmer than that now. By 60s times, the warming climbs alarmed environmentalists. Whether in sandals with beards and candles, or university scientists. From the far out margin to the mainstream jargon, one idea with strength they would endow. That it was somewhat colder then, and it's warmer than that now. It's basically fine, went the industry's line, that their lobbyists fed us. But shrinking iceberg size don't tell no lies, and I don't mean iceberg lettuce. But can they admit that they're full of shit? No, they'd sooner make out with Chairman Mao than explain why it was somewhat colder then, and it's warmer than that now. More and more malls and aerosols and smokestacks of industry. It's simple math, and you don't have to be the type who'd hug a tree. But still the CEO said let it go as he mopped his sopping brow. So what if it was colder then and it's warmer than that now? In Hollywood the air was good but by the 70s was wrecked. The highway smog through which they slog is no special effect. By the time Chewbacca is in Alta Caca he'd wish they'd kept it down and admitted that it was somewhat colder then and it's warmer than that now. By 83, there seemed to be a pattern clearly forming. As the record book began to cook, they dubbed it global warming. Is it a natural shift or a man-made apocalypse? The debate continues to sprout about why it was somewhat colder then and it's warmer than that now. That the proof is clear from year to year means naught to such as we. When Europe caved neath a heat wave, we said just get AC. Regulations of corporations dropped dollars off the Dow. So what if it was colder then and it's warmer than that now? Now in these mad flood scenes from New Orleans, who knows what part was played? By distant ice caps, ozone gaps, and creeping centigrade. The thing that's sure is nature's pure, no games will it allow. And that it was somewhat colder then and it's warmer than that now. We laugh at tribal chiefs with quaint beliefs, we're smart and scientific. The western sieve in which we live is turning out terrific. We say superstition blind we've left behind, but profit is our sacred cow. And that cow don't care if it's cooked medium rare, and that it's warmer than that now. <laughs> Wonderful.